I never felt like this before Yes, I swear It's a truth And I owe it all to you What I really liked about Mr. Bortz was he had a really great sense of humor, and he was really funny. And uh, he didn't think I was funny, but <laughs> I thought he was funny. I think the greatest thing about um, Mr. Bortz was his discipline. <laughs> we were the worst. <laughs> <laughs> we're sorry, Mr. We're Bortz. So Mr. Bortz, <laughs> you were a great teacher, but we were not the best students. <laughs> you were great, and the, I liked how. At the beginning, we thought we sounded great, but we at the awful. end, we sounded actually kind of good. Mm -hmm. And then we talked to our parents, and they're like, "Yeah, man, that first concert was horrible." And we're like, "What? We Wasn't thought we even were music. we thought we were pretty good, but it's just the progression. And even when you're a bad student, mm -hmm. like maybe both of Him. us, then even when you're like, you keep going and you learn and progress, and he can teach you all the things that need to be taught." Mm -hmm. And he works with you, and he knows how to teach, and that's mm -hmm. beautiful. My favorite part about band would have to be being able to enhance my talent as a percussionist. My favorite part of band is when we got to go to the concerts and perform. My favorite part of band was the process we had when we were learning a song with Mr. Bortz and all the grueling time we spent on that song. My favorite part about band is just the energy that Mr. Bortz brings and how excited he gets about our concerts and us performing and even when we sound terrible, he pushes through it and he's just an amazing teacher. I'm really going to miss him. I came to O'Leary 30 years ago, and Mr. Bortz was, had already been here for two years. Um, so we've worked together for 30 years. Um, he's run a great program here at O'Leary. He's built it up to, a, to one of the best uh, middle school, used to be junior high programs in the state. Um, he's, a, he's a very, very thorough teacher. He uh, runs a a well-organized band. Uh, it's been my privilege to work with them and uh, we're, we've uh, done a lot of things together and it's been a good experience and I'm glad I've had this opportunity to work with him for so long. I have worked with Mr. Bortz for 21 years. 21 years is a long time to spend with one person in the building where there's not a whole lot of teachers but it is a lot of fun. Mr. Bortz has been my lunch buddy, so we eat lunch almost daily during the school year together. Um, his wife would call me and remind him to, you know, pick up his pay stubs, don't forget appointments, do all kinds of silly things. And then he was also the recipient of several practical jokes and honoriness that I liked to kind of bestow on the people that I love the most. Huh? Oh, she did it. 
Yeah. Was Mrs. Ramirez in on it this time? Yeah. Mrs. Ramirez. She got a TV. Ah, what did you guys do then? <laughs> what? You know, rap. I actually wasn't scared because I thought it was a spider. I just, something went all of a sudden about bit me and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so let me ask you, was it your idea or Mrs. Ramirez's? <laughs> she told you to say that too, didn't she? That was it. But it was her idea, wasn't it? No. <laughs> okay, well I know whose it was then. You can so one of my favorite stories was when I was eating a cup of soup at lunch and I was sitting there shaking a ketchup bottle and I don't know why he didn't notice that who would put ketchup in a soup but he didn't and when I thought it was just about time I shot the ketchup the string flew out of the ketchup bottle hit him in the chest he did a pinwheel cartwheel over backwards out of his chair and landed on the floor in the teacher's lounge. Now, in the lounge there was only Mr. Bortz and I and one other teacher. We found out that uh, we got scolded by that other teacher for being childish and immature. But by golly, we were both busting up and thinking it was the best time in the world.